I know when I talked to you earlier this week, you thought you know you might see some man coverage, and you were kind of hoping for that and uh, get some big plays. And you certainly had some big plays today. Uh, uh, just talk about your day and you know and and how things went because you seemed to really elevate your play with Chris McNeil out today. Well, I went in the game uh, thinking that I was going to play my hardest out for uh, the seniors, and especially Chris McNeil because he couldn't play his last senior game, and that kind of really got to me. But I just went out there and uh, I knew they was going to play man coverage. And yeah, I knew I was going to. I'm not gonna say I knew, but hopefully I was gonna take advantage of it. And then every time they play man covered, I, I try to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Big was that play right, you know, right at halftime. I mean, the last play, you go in and you're up seven. Kind of take us through that if you can. What was that a call play or was it just a freelance play? What kind of take us through that if you could? Well, uh, the original play kind of got messed up. Uh, Jalen got pushed into me, and we both fell on the ground. And I got up, and uh, I was running the same way Brett was scrambling. And then he just hit me, and I see the whole defense like pursuing one way, and then I just turned the corner, and uh, I had Dom. I just seen Dom run, try to run behind him and dove in for the uh, <clears throat> for the end zone. To get kind of hard too, I know. Uh, Jalen and, and Dom both left at times with in, with looks in, with injuries. I know Dom came back, but boy, there was a while out there. There were some pretty new guys out there. Was it yeah. was it getting pretty hard out there after a while when you guys kept losing guys? Yeah, it was getting frustrated because you know the, the guys that came in uh, <clears throat> expected, you know, that was starting. They had ankle injuries or whatever, and uh, you just look at them like, can you fight through it? And uh, if they can't fight through it, then you know obviously they shouldn't be in the game. But uh, Dom came back, but it was just frustrating. But the backup, the, they backup. I know they they, they know they assigned as well, and uh, they did pretty good out there. Were you surprised at that formation they threw at you in the last play and a half with five guys on the goal line? What did you think when you saw it? Uh, I, I knew it because uh, we was going to try to go in and score, and that, they put the uh, prevent defense in. So I knew it was going to be everybody in the end zone. And, uh, luckily, I did fall because maybe he would have just threw it up and it would have got batted down or whatever. But I went in that play thinking, like, I'm, I'm going to try to catch it no matter what. But luckily, I did fall, and uh, Brett seen me, and I uh, made a play. Robert, it looked like you guys had a lot of momentum at that point. Third quarter, they came out, and I think it's three and out. How frustrating was that? You couldn't continue that. Yeah, it was real frustrating. You know, we wanted to halftime. Everybody's hyped. We're going to come in here and uh, we're going to dominate this game for the second half. But uh, they, I guess they coached. They went in there. They game plan for it. They seen everything just thrown at them, and they made good adjustments, and that's how I see it. Is it something that you thought was defensive base, or was it more of something that happened on on your all side of the ball like for the kind of second? Because that's something that I guess has happened, you know, in multiple yeah. times during this season. Do you have a sense of maybe what that what that is that, that kind of makes you guys slow up a little bit in the in the second yeah, half? Well, uh, I, I think it's both. You know, uh, we got a little frustrated, couldn't make things happen. Uh, a lot of missed assignments, probably, and uh, and I, I think it was a lot of them just just going in and game playing too. Robert, how do you get to that consistent level where you guys don't have those holes? I mean, what do you guys do going forward as one of the guys coming back? Uh, I think it's going to start in this off season. Like, we've got to be consistent. You know, it can't be a practice. We, we look great in a practice. We can yell at and everybody missing assignments and everything. We've got to be more consistent on everybody, all 11 that's in the game. Even even the, uh, <clears throat> the scout team got to push us. The backup got to know all the assignments. And that's what I think it is.